Hi guys, this is Charlie from Boxing Focus. Uh, returning after a bit of a hiatus, mainly due to the computer troubles. Um, got a new computer now, so hopefully that's that's all sorted out. Before, well, I think the last video I did was predicting that Canelo stood a good chance against Mayweather, and it turned out pretty disappointing um, now obviously this is uh, fairly relevant again because Mayweather has chosen to face Maidana which is uh, yeah, a lot of people were clamouring for it after, after he destroyed Adrian Broner really I mean, it destroys the harsh word but you know, Broner managed to survive the 12 but he, he put a bit of a beating on Broner um, and so I, I think yeah but for once, for once, we can say that Mayweather's opponent has justified the shot. I mean, we've not been able to say that really for some time. Um, so, yeah, that's good. It's a, it's a healthy pick. It's a challenge. And, and people are saying that, yeah, oh, if Mayweather you know, handled Canelo so easily, then then, Bren, then uh, sorry, then Maidan doesn't stand a chance. And... I don't think that's really fair. I think that Canelo really let himself down badly. Badly let himself down in that fight. I think... <clears throat> you talk about guys leaving it all in the ring. You know, it's a very common theme in boxing. Oh, how many? You know, leave it all in the ring. Canelo left hardly anything in the, in the ring against Mayweather. He rarely opened up properly. He didn't really pressure Mayweather. Half the time, Mayweather was backing him up. I mean, he's a stone heavier. He's a, he's a fucking stone heavier. He should have just planted his feet and moved forward. I mean, he shouldn't have had a backward gear. He should have said, right, sunshine, it's me or you. I'm the bigger guy here. Let's exchange. I'll throw punches, you throw punches. And the few times that he did, the few times that he really pushed Mayweather back and, uh, and unloaded with shots, he hurt him. Now, I know that May Mayweather didn't, I say hurt, Mayweather didn't appear, you know, he wasn't shaken or anything, but, I mean, there was probably the most significant combination. Canelo throws a, a right that misses. Yeah, you, you can't expect the first shot to land against a quality operator like Mayweather, that's fine. Then he comes back with a, a left hook to the body, which lands clean. It's a good shot. You can bet Mayweather felt that. And then he comes back with a right cross, and it, and it lands Mayweather's arm, you know, and you see his arm buckle. And at the end of the fight, Mayweather was complaining, saying, my, my left arm was hurting, it was limiting me. It was hurting because somebody stone bigger than you punched you as hard as you could in your arm. He claimed there was some kind of collision, but no, it was almost certainly that that did it. And that's what Canelo should have done three or four times around, minimum, more. For the entire fight, she just back Mayweather up, and as soon as Mayweather had his back on the ropes, bang, 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 unload. Now, in that combination, Mayweather comes back with a beautiful counter. Yeah, it lands clean. And, and sadly enough, that was all it took to discourage Canelo from exchanging. And it's just, you've got a once in a lifetime opportunity. You don't. You know, get hit once and go, all right, let's go to a different plan. No, you fucking get in there. You get in there and you fucking fight. You fucking fight. You die, you're going to get hit. you just got to accept that. The guy's the best technical boxer of his generation. One of the best of all time. You cannot expect to not get hit with clean shots. you got to really play on your, on your uh, physical advantages, your youth, your strength, your weight. Just Get in there and just make it. You or him. Don't give him an easy way out. It's just... Oh, it, gives, it hurts my brain thinking about it. You know, if you look at Mayweather's career, you look at all the fights, which are the fights where he was uncomfortable? Is it the ones where guys try, you know, outbox him and try and be cute and clever on the way in? No. Emmanuel Augustus sat there. He, he stood in front of him. And this is a featherweight. This is a 126. He stands in front of him and trades and trades and bloodies Mayweather's face and puts him in an uncomfortable... You can see Mayweather's uncomfortable in that fight. Now he ends up stopping Emmanuel Augustus, but that's at 126. 
Cloud's 154. You know, take advantage of that. Take advantage of it. Just, oh. Instead, he goes, oh, yeah, I'm going to... You know, he says, even says at the end, oh, yeah, I was trying to catch him. What brain-dead, fucking stupid plan was that? His corner were pathetic. Obviously, no experience of big events. Didn't really, I mean... Other than whatever events Canelo had been at until that point. Obviously, had no solid game plan. They should have been... You know what you wanted to see from Canelo's corner? Or what I wanted to see? If you look to um, his fight very soon after it, Danny Garcia against Matisse. Now, Matisse is a heavy-handed motherfucker. And Danny Garcia, like his dad is there, slap him in, in the face, saying, King, stand your ground. King, get in there, fight, train. You know, be tougher than him. That's what you needed. You needed that injection of energy, that... that desire, that belief like forcing him forward no, instead of like, oh yeah, well oh, so it's round six, round seven oh well, you need to start winning rounds now no you don't fucking go in against Mayweather and try to win rounds the guy's a fucking expert you don't go in there and try to win rounds you turn into a fucking war, you want to hurt him oh, he's so stupid how naive how stupid are you? So anyway, why is this relevant? Why is it relevant to Marcus Maidana getting a chance against Mayweather? Why? Because we know for a fact from Maidana's career, he's not such a fucking imbecile that he thinks that he can outbox Mayweather. He gets into a fight with these guys, these technical boxers, and he's, he goes forward and he throws heavy shots. He gets hit and he shrugs it off. This guy's a fucking warrior. This, he's a tough guy. You look at it. I mean, Amir Khan landed the best body shots you, you, you could probably have landed. And, and Maidan went down and he got up and he fought on. And he, they came back so strong in that fight. That's what you want in a in an opponent against Mayweather. Somebody that will, you know, even when he's hurt, he sucks it up and he gets back on the front foot. Look at what Maidana did versus Brony. Throwing punches from awkward angles. Just throwing. When they're close, throwing. When he's far away, moving forward and throwing. That's what you need. Not some wanker plan to stand off and, and counter Mayweather or some sh idiotic notion of, oh yeah, I outboxed everybody before me, therefore I can outbox the best fighter on the planet. Fucking hell, just so stupid. Hopefully, this video will be somewhat a way for me to get rid of that anxiety and angst. It's pathetic. Just annoying, 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 annoying. It's like so few people have these opportunities in life and to see them squandered like that is infuriating. Anyway, my Dan won't do that. He will fucking fight. And that is why it's a good fight. That is why it's worthwhile. He is you know, a quality operator at 147. It's not like Guerrero who had just been dragged up and for all his toughness and whatnot, I don't know, he, is he even that tough? I mean, he was just bigger than everybody down at 135, comes up to 147, fights what I deem, you see, Berto, Berto doesn't catch you on the way in, as soon as he's against somebody who punches him before he's set to throw his own punches, he doesn't, yeah. how quickly was he discouraged by Mayweather in that fight? Now, we know May, yeah. you might say, well, actually Mayweather hits quite hard and quite accurately, yeah, yeah, but I think Maidana has proven in his career he, you know, he's game for that. He's game for that, and it's fucking great to finally find a fighter who will be game for it that is going to share a ring with Floyd Mayweather, and we'll actually see Floyd Mayweather have to fight. Saying all that, Koto gave it a go. That's what I'm saying. Koto gave it a go, and he made Mayweather a bit uncomfortable. That's what you need. Someone who's going to go in there and fucking go at him. And that is what Maidana brings. Punches from funny angles, very unorthodox, very difficult to train for. And as Broner found out, you know, he's a tough bastard and he's got, you know, he hits hard. He hits hard, good knockout ratio. Um, I don't think he's going to win. Mayweather's much slicker than Broner, much better at moving, much better at timing. Broner's 
timing is pretty woeful at times. You know, it's more about, you know, waits until he's ready to throw his own punches. He doesn't really time you, the guys in the way in. So I don't think that Maidana's going to win, but I think that he will put Floyd in a, in a few uncomfortable situations. We'll actually see, you know, a decent fight for once. Anyway, yeah, fuck Canelo after that fight. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll win my respect back eventually. I mean, you've got to respect boxers, it's bloody tough, but yeah. Fucking for what, you know, not, not trying properly, not leaving it in the ring. There's one opportunity to fight, the, you know, possibly the best fighter of all time, and he blows it by not not giving it his all. And he'll, he'll regret that. He will regret that, even if he never says it publicly. Anyway. My Dana won't have any such regrets, win or lose, probably lose, but yeah. I like my Dana, I've liked him for a while, he's a good, good fighter, yeah. very good fighter, very underrated at times, but now, now he's finally gotten a, his golden ticket through perseverance, of course, was on, yeah. the worry that he got so outclassed by Devin Alexander. <laughs> But I just don't think you know, that was his night. And uh, I think he'll do a little bit better against Mayweather. Um, Alexander's a bit of an awkward fighter. Anyway, that's Charlie with Boxing Focus. Not very technical there, more mainly emotional. <laughs> so emotional. Um, we'll leave it there. My first video on my new computer. Hopefully it's working.